welcome to another video. In today's video, it is going to be just a casual video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and also letting you guys know in on some topics that a lot of you guys have been curious about but I never really went fully deep into. So basically today we're going to be talking about if idols get to keep the clothes that they wear on stage or that are gifted to them, um, sponsorships or free stuff. Do idols share clothes with other idols? And I thought that I'd just kind of let you guys know on that. I've recently been getting a lot of questions. Or if idols go to Trugun Gear, is it actually their clothes? So I thought that I'll just kind of go in deep with that. In today's video, we are going to be sponsored by Ana Luisa. You guys already know Ana Luisa is one of my favorite brands, jewelry brands that I love to work with. They are a sustainable jewelry brand, and I am actually wearing their pieces right now, as you guys can see. But I've been wearing Ana Luisa products for about two years now and I would say all of their products are such long lasting like nothing has ever gone wrong with any of these products which is the reason why I just love wearing these products out and I always get compliments on it. Another thing that I really like about Anna Luisa too is that all of their products are in limited batches which kind of ensures you the best quality of your products. That is something that I really love because quality is better than quantity. So I'm actually wearing all of the pieces from Ana Luisa. So the three things that I actually recently picked up is going to be the Forget Me Not necklace which is this pendant bar right here, pendant bar necklace that I really love. It has like a person holding flowers which I thought was really cute and it's actually going to be 20% off because right now they are doing a discount, a summer sale so make sure you guys head over there as soon as you guys watch this video. Also, another chain that I got is a Jasmine chain. It is $68. The reason why I really like it is that it is adjustable. So what I did was I made it a little bit longer so that it would kind of match and I could kind of layer it. I've been really loving this chain as well. It's just a simple chain and it's super light. And that is the reason why I am loving it so far. Next up, I picked out a ring. It is called Rope Slim. It is $44.80 after the sale, the 20% off sale. So I'll be having a link down below. Don't forget to use that as well. That is going to be my link personally. And like I said, it is going to be a 20% off discount for the summer time it is having a summertime sale so don't forget to check that out as well another thanks to Annalisa for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the video so I'm gonna be doing my makeup and also talking so feel free to get a cup of tea or anything and join me while I do my makeup but I think the most questions that I get is do they get to keep the clothes that they wear on music show programs or accessories or what to what extent do they get to keep it if they ask do you get to keep it do they just give it to you so I'm gonna be kind of going in with that oh yeah this is a new one I'm just trying this out I will be linking everything down below as well. Sometimes the company will give the stylist a set amount of money and then the stylist will pick a certain look that will match the idols or whatever the concept might be or they might even just be making or customizing certain stage outfits for their idols which costs even more. Um, another option is that they can get a sponsorship from certain brands. Man, okay, I really like how this is a little dewy. I am a 23, but I think I got a little darker because this 23 does seem a little bit light on me, but I'm not gonna powder, so it will oxidize over time, but as of now, it looks a little bit more white than my actual skin tone. Um, the thing about Korea is that it only has two shades, so you're gonna have to work with a brand that you like. But basically most of the time, it is going to be three options. The stylist is going to be making and customizing clothes for your stage outfits that is fit with your concept or they will be buying a bunch of clothes that is set with just your concept. And the third one is going to be they will actually get sponsorships or um, deals or given to them for free if the idol wears the clothes and the idol takes the picture. Now, I didn't really know about this, but every time my stylist would bring a certain outfit, sometimes there would be some outfits where we didn't need to take pictures and some outfits where we would have to take pictures, which I found really ironic because I didn't know at first the reason why they were taking pictures. So I figured out over time that the reason why the stylist asked to take a picture is because they are getting it sponsored or for free just the idol needs to take a picture and then the company or brand will use the pictures of the idols wearing their certain clothes and 
basically it's like a win-win situation for the stylist as well now the thing is you would think that if you take a picture the stylist would just be like do you want the clothes i'll give it to you but most of the times that is not the case they just keep it for themselves and then they will rotate it within other idols so i found that very interesting because for me, I was like, okay, why am I taking a picture? And then I realized I'm taking a picture because it's sponsored, but I would never get the clothes. Now a lot of idols know that when you take a picture for them, um, usually it is sponsored. So a lot of idols will then ask, oh, this is sponsored, right? And then they'll be like, yeah, okay, then can I keep it? And then most of the time the stylist would be like, okay, yeah, you can keep it. So this is kind of like a thing that I figured out. And then throughout like a year later, I would actually ask my stylist if I like a certain clothes and it was sponsored, I would just take it myself. But before that, the stylist would usually rotate it. The stylist usually rotate clothes within different groups and artists which is the reason why you might see certain artists wearing the same thing it's because the stylists have to rotate it and do the best that they can because sometimes the company might just be like oh just let the idols wear whatever you guys already have so that is the usual case um, that actually goes for clothes and um, jewelry shoes as well uh, I would hate when I would have to wear like jewelry that the stylist had already brought because you don't really know who had the jewelry on and especially if you have like sensitive skin um, you might not know like who wore it before if they cleaned the jewelry before because most of the times they don't clean the jewelry before they just take it and then they just put it back in a baggie that they carry around because they would always have side jewelry always on the go just in case one of the idol's jewelry is broke so the jewelry is kind of recycled um, yeah, so what I would do is I would actually bring like a wet paper towel and I would actually clean all my jewelry before I wore it. Uh, but yeah, the clothes too. Sometimes I'll be like, huh, kind of stinks a little bit. Um, because idols obviously sweat and stuff and they don't get to wash the clothes right away. So that is something, um, that <laughs> I realized. But yeah, a lot of stylists have their ways around it. There's a lot of sneaky stylists. Most of the times, if the clothes is customized to each member, we do not get to keep the clothes only because we actually buy those clothes and usually they will keep it in a separate wardrobe and we would wear the same clothes for other performances or if we're having like shows, we would wear those clothes instead. So that is recycled between us since it is fit and custom to our body measurements so most of the times we won't take that because if we take that then one might be gone and then if they ever want to use that clothes again they're going to be like oh where did Subin's clothes go so most of the time unless we're never going to be using those stage outfits again we're not going to be asking for it but at the same time you can't really wear the stage outfits out on the go because they're just too extra so I mean, I remember I would never ask for the stage outfits, but if it were just like sponsored, I would be asking for that as well. Another question that I get often is, how do idols get sponsored a lot or are they gifted free stuff? Because I get this question a lot, even within just my friends that, you know, aren't in this field. They would ask me, so like, you know, when you were idle, did you receive a lot of stuff from companies for free? You know, just as like promo and stuff. And usually the companies do give you stuff for free or they will send stuff to your agency in hopes that, you know, it would make a cameo in something. Um, usually they're not going to be like, can you please upload a picture? Uh, because obviously the idols aren't getting paid for it. But they do hope that it would be slipped somewhere in the background where they can, you know, take it or they would try to find data or references of maybe the idols using the certain products or the clothes. Another way where idols get free stuff is actually this happens quite often. Um, some companies will have access or they would get access somehow to go into the music show programs. Either if it's somebody that they know like a manager or somebody will basically help them get in and they would bring all of their products, right? Either if it's like skincare or even like fashion, like hats, purses or whatever it is, t-shirts. And then they would actually get permission from each and every manager. And then, then they would go from each waiting room and they would actually give the idols stuff. 
So basically the idols aren't asking for it, but I guess this is kind of like a way that they can PR themselves to the idols themselves and there are just idols who are just so nice that they're like you know what like they're doing a really hard job you know i'm just gonna wear this cap and then you know like take a picture with it or something so basically that is another option where idols get free stuff is that the brand literally comes in your waiting room and they give you stuff or sometimes the brands will be sponsoring a certain episode on a variety show and then you can get free clothes that way as well or sometimes the brands will just send you clothes um, just in general to your stylist and say you know what like this is just a gift to the idols and basically the brands will be checking your socials to see if you ever wore it um, and that is usually how they're going to be promoting their brand to other customers saying that these idols have worn the clothes or the skincare or anything in general which one should i do i'm kind of feeling this coral because i use kind of like a peachy lip so i'm gonna be doing that Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I like that. Oh, that's really red. Wow. This is good. I like how it's very like sheer, but it's almost kind of like red too. Wow, that put the whole look together. So I actually get a lot of questions as well. Do idols actually wear what fans give them? Because idols do get gifted a lot of clothes or, you know, stuff from fans. Most of the times, if they get duplicates, they will give it to a family member or friend. And this is something that happens a lot, especially if they see an idol member rocking a certain brand or when they go to a fan sign, they'll be like, oh, what brand do you like? And basically these fans will know what brands you usually like and will be giving you or gifting you certain things from this brand. So most of the times they might be getting duplicates of certain things because they think that the idol doesn't have it. So basically that is what happens. The idols will gift it to their family or you know the company members or managers or just anybody around them. Usually they do keep it on the DL though because certain fans will get very disappointed. I mean, but if it's duplicates, like you don't know which fans it was and stuff. But another thing as well is some fans get really jealous if certain idols wear like certain fans clothes because they're gonna be like, oh, why does so-and-so wear you know, gifts from other fans, but I gifted so-and-so certain clothes, but how come he doesn't wear it? So this is something that happens a lot, especially because when a fan finds out that their idol wore a gift that was given to them, they're gonna be obviously posting about it and then other fans would be like, oh my God, like why did you know, so-and-so not wear what I'm doing? They'll be like checking. So what a lot of idols do is they actually wear the gifts when it's like practice time or when they aren't really like in the public eye too much they would wear the products or the gifts that the fans gave them more um it's just kind of like this rivalry thing if they wear it you know in front of certain fans because some fans will get jealous but i mean regardless there might be other idols who just wear it whatever the fans give them so i think it is just a case by case but yeah that is a couple of things that i kind of wanted to talk about i hope i covered um, a lot of it as well. Do idols actually wear their own clothes when it's Trugun gear or do they get styled? I did briefly talk about this before but for those of you guys who might have not seen that video, idols most of the time will be wearing their own clothes but if the idol doesn't feel comfortable and they feel like the stylist can style them better, the stylist will style them. So usually when it's like the beginning stages of the idols, the idols will be styled because they feel like it's better. Um, um, when you are a rookie, you usually only have like practice clothes um, and not like a lot of like clothes you wear outside or like your own clothes. So most of the times it really depends as well um, just on what it is. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Something that I also want to say though, usually for shoes, they aren't not recycled as much. They will be buying the shoes in the member sizes. So most of the times, um, the shoe is going to be yours. So what I would do sometimes if I were in the practice room, I would just wear the shoes that were my designated shoe and then I would wear it out and about sometimes. But most of the times for shoes, they usually buy the shoes since they don't want to be you know, mixing other shoes with other idols but there are many cases if it's like a sponsored shoe and you know the uh, stylist needs to style you they will actually be gifting you other shoes that 
idols wore and stuff but yeah that's pretty much it i think but if you guys have more questions, I will be actually having a pinned comment on this as well. Maybe I'll make a part two about this. But today I just wanted to briefly talk about it um, and just let you guys know as well. Also, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa products. They are so amazing and I think that you guys will love it. Right now they're doing a 20% summer sale. So it is going to be a good time to buy for the summertime like I did. This is, has been my summer routine look, but basically that is the end of today's video. If there's any more Ida instead of videos you guys wanna see, feel free to let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.